Well, you heard that shit with the Paul Dunham, huh? Yeah. He's affected me. We've been here. God damn it. We've been here like 20 minutes ago. And what the fuck is that? I got I got you. I got you. Oh, I missed my... God damn it. God damn it. You... God damn it. We've been here for 45 weeks. The guy, the guy, oh, she moved or something, I don't know. Wait, what'd you, what'd you call it? He beat it out, he beat it out. He died on the vine. Oh no, what else is the fuck I'm talking about? Reminding it was over. He, he came here, he gathered it out. Reminding you about your tooth with that fucking man. Oh shoot, I forgot to know. Me! I did! Cause I got this guy! Sometimes you're here 24 7. Sometimes we're here 24 7 because some boys in here just can't even wait. And good roses. Roses. Oh, roses! She's she's adorable fluffy. Go oh, fucking roses, she's so fucking depressed. Go oh, fucking roses, she can't go out of the because she's so tired of the rest of the Go oh, fucking roses, bye bye bull. I know. For the line I listen, you stupid fuck. Your kids, my kids, put it into sentence. Ten your fucking mind talking about my wife. <laughs> well, you have to have the shit with the pods now. Okay. Finish. <laughs> Especially if you're gonna go back inside here. <laughs> I see that. What do you think? He's a... He's an Irish. Jesus Christ, you did. That was more important to see right now. And don't ever ask me to go to the restroom, you understand me? This is your one. God damn it, man.
and they are really not allies with Germany and them either. Okay, they're not going to try to stop each other. They're not going to try to, you know, hinder what they're doing. Um, Hitler did not have to worry about Russia coming in and trying to save the day. Okay, um, but Germany is going to later uh, violate this agreement, and that is going to push Russia into being allies with us. Okay. All right. All right. So Poland. This is another country you need to add to that first question. So with no fear of Russia and France and England not really doing anything because they're seen as weak, Nazis invaded their eastern neighbor Poland. Okay, this, uh, they used a new kind of tactic called a Blitzkrieg. Okay, Blitzkrieg is a German word meaning lightning war. Okay, um, and if you look on page 229, you'll see a very good description of what a blitzkrieg is. It's very, to me, I always think of, if you run a blitz in football, that's what I think of, um, going after the quarterback. Um, but this is where you put everything you have going after them with tanks, planes, all everything you have going after them, and it's a surprise attack. So if you look up page 229, and just read for just a minute, um, what Blitzkrieg is, it should be in bold, I think. Yes. It's in the middle on 229, it explains what a Blitzkrieg is. Um, they took Poland with the Blitzkrieg in two days. They conquered the entire country of Poland in two days. Okay? And as a result, because Poland was a neutral country, uh, France and England would not take any more of it and they declared war on Germany, okay? So taking Poland, big problem, okay? That was kind of the, the last straw because they saw if he's going to go after Poland, who was, ne was never part of their land, then they're gonna keep going and they have to be stopped, okay? So here you see just a ton of tanks Okay, and then there's this military parade after they've taken Poland, and you see Hitler standing up there, and then they also had an awesome air force called the Luftwaffe, okay? Uh, planes and tanks are going to become very important in World War II, whereas they were just kind of important in World War II, okay? All right, so here's a map that shows you they came, since they had the non-aggression pact with Russia, Russia was not going to stop them. So they went from the Russian side, took Poland there, and then German side, and they just basically surrounded until they had taken all of Poland, all of it, okay? And this was the last straw. At this point, the United States is not involved at all, period, okay? Well, not involved fighting-wise, all right? But we are carefully watching what's going on. So you should be able to answer all of those questions, okay? Um, not those yet. It's not there. So what countries did Germany invade or take back? You should have Austria, Czechoslovakia, Rhineland, and Poland, okay? What method did Hitler and the Nazis use to take Poland or to take these countries? Blitzkrieg, okay? You have to know that. Maybe not, okay, help you at all. All right, and then appeasement, you need to know what that means and if it worked or not, okay? So if I were to ask you, if I were to give you a vocab quiz later, I'm not, but if I were, not today anyway, you need to be able to tell me what a Blitzkrieg is and appeasement and those sorts of things, okay? All right, so then um, we uh, passed laws to keep us out of war. We had the Neutrality Act of 1937. Um, basically, Americans couldn't travel on ships of countries at war, couldn't sell arms to those countries, but could sell non-military goods to England, and that's what we started doing. I didn't know this when I was in school. I didn't know this as Neutrality Act of 1937. I knew it as the Cash and Carry Act. That's what it was always called when I was in school. 
And then um, they had to pay cash for their purchases. They could not get it on credit, and they couldn't say, hey, we'll pay you later. They had to pay in cash before they could carry any goods with them. And then FDR gave a quarantine speech. He called for quarantine of aggressive European nations. Basically, keep them in one area and not let it go anywhere else. Quarantine. Unfortunately, we all know what quarantine means now, thanks to COVID. Okay? So all of that happened, but we stayed out of it as far as the fighting goes. And we didn't send ammunition or, like, destroyers or anything militarily to them at this point. All right. Um, okay, so after um, Hitler and the Germans take Belgium or not Belgium, Poland, they go after France, okay? They start from May to June of 1940. Germany hit France hard with the Blitzkrieg, um, and then they defeated France in less than a month by taking Paris. Add France to that list on that first question under that number five, okay? They took France. Um, it was an easy victory, partly because France was using old school tactics, Okay, they used that French, uh, or that World War I style trench warfare, and it didn't work. The German Blitzkrieg, their tanks, their airplanes, all that kind of stuff, just took France real easy, okay? Um, and the French were, became an occupied nation. They were occupied by the Nazis. The Nazis set up their own little puppet French government, but that didn't mean the French totally gave up. One of the best stories in World War II to study, if you wanted to, is the French resistance. There was a, some underground guerrilla type warfare going on to try to hamper the Germans and the Nazis um, and those that supported them while they were in um, while they were in France. Okay. Eventually, France will be liberated. Okay, but it's going to be a good four years later. Okay, it's going to be a while. But after they took Paris. Okay, there were some pretty iconic photos that were circulated throughout the world and it shocked the nation. And here's what I mean. When you think of Paris and you think of France, you probably think of the Eiffel Tower. Do you think that he took pictures in front of the Eiffel Tower on purpose? Absolutely. Okay? If you were French and you were proud to be French and you had your major landmark, the Eiffel Tower, and all of a sudden you see pictures of Hitler and other Nazi soldiers standing in front of your most famous landmark, okay, it's going to be jolting, and it was, not just to the French, but to everybody throughout the world, because they circulated these photos everywhere all over the United States, all over other parts of Europe, Russia, other Australia, everywhere, people saw these photographs, okay? It was seen as a warning, but it was also a brag, okay? Look what we did, and we did this in less than a month, okay? They took Paris, um, and then they took the entire print, uh, the entirety of France, okay? But these photos were extremely jarring to everybody. So at this point, World War II has started, okay? After he goes after and takes France, there's only one country standing in their way of taking the rest of Europe. And what country is that? Great Britain. So immediately, he starts going after Great Britain, okay? Japan starts going after uh, other parts of Asia, and um, parts of the Pacific Ocean. We're going to get into that later. And then Italy starts going after North Africa because in North Africa, there's a lot of oil. Oil is very important to running a war, especially this one, okay? Because Britain was an island separate from Europe. It wasn't going to be easy to take them. They couldn't use their normal Blitzkrieg tactics. They couldn't take tanks across the English Channel it was just going to take too long, so they used their Luftwaffe, they used their air force to attack England, and they started bombing them on a daily basis from October of 1940 on. You can't write Great Britain down on that list because they never took Great Britain, okay? Um, this is where, I mean, the British, you know, dug in and 
they started to defend themselves and go after them. Um, so you, this map, you can see where, since they had France, they had a good take off, taking off point to go after uh, London and England. All they had to go was cr across the English Channel, and then they bombed London, which is in that southern part, and started going after other strategic places, okay? Um, and you can see pictures from, like, bombing of London. There are so many movies about World War II that I can recommend. So many, and I will as we go through this. Um, but um, there's a lot that depicts, like, what the British do. The British do a lot of movies about World War II. Okay? Uh, we know that uh, Winston Churchill was Prime Minister uh, during World War Two. You do need to know what he looks like. You will see his picture and his depiction in a lot of different places, okay, in a lot of political cartoons. Usually he's balding. He's got kind of um, a different shaped face, more round, and he usually has, he's usually smoking a cigar, okay? In most pictures of him, he's usually smoking a cigar, but he's usually depicted in a suit, bald head, smoking a cigar, or has a cigar in his hand, okay? We're almost done by the way. So Germany also joined, in Italy, joined Italy trying to take North Africa. Um, and then the British were in North Africa trying to fight them off. Um, I'm going to mention that later. Okay. Um, here's a picture of uh, Roosevelt meeting with Churchill. Why are they sitting down? Because they could be standing up, right? But why are they sitting down? Of the tent. Polio. Yeah. Because he had polio. And so they, at this point, with World War II starting, okay, you don't want to be seen as weak even if we're not fighting. Okay? So they're sitting down, and then you've got the military up behind them. All right. Now, I want you to move up to the Station 4. So we're going to throw it back to the Great Depression. Okay? This one is the majority of the questions you're going to be asked on the next CBA are going to be about the Great Depression, okay? So um, the Great Depression starts on page 201, 201 in your book. You should be able to answer some of those questions without looking them up, honestly. You should be able to, okay? But if not, Great Depression, page 201 is where you start. It'll go through the what caused it you should be able to explain very in short terms okay in short you don't even have to write in complete sentences uh the the causes of it the effects of it you should be able to list without even really looking it up okay and then you'll get into the new deal and the three r's and then that last question i've not really talked about that much but you should be able to answer those. So page 201 is where you can start looking, answer those Great Depression questions, okay? Um, and then after that, there is one other thing we're gonna do. We've got time. Actually, two other things we're gonna do. I'll give you about 10 minutes to answer those questions.